Good evening, everybody. How is everybody tonight? I see a couple of people are here waiting, eating cashews and other such things. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Belinda. And hi, Maria. Maria, I'm glad you love those kissing angels. Uh, I had some with Holly on their dresses, but they weren't kissing angels. And uh, somebody broke the uh, wings off. Hello, Belinda. Uh, I was going to see how I make uh, wrenches. How do I do that? Hi, Lori. How do I make wrenches? Maybe it's this. Nope, that ain't it. Nope, that's not it. Okay. Uh, you know, I just don't understand these things. They don't have any kind of little, little places that says, you know, do here, do this. So we're just going to go with who we've got if she comes. <clears throat> Hi, Angela. You're making dinner. Uh, we didn't have any. Well, we had lunch, a late, late lunch. And then Ron was uh, eating some of our, we got uh, Panera, Panera. And we got this family thing Well, we have a salad. Uh, and some more soup waiting for us in the refrigerator. And then we, they give us one of those big baguettes while Ron keeps, you know, tearing off little pieces. I said, uh, hey, whoa, save me some of that there, Bucky. <laughs> now this one, uh, can I tell... Yes, I can. Never mind. Never mind. I can see who's watching. And I will remind you to uh, put thumbs up. So I get a lot of good thumbs tonight. Hey, Ron, are you going to stay in there or what are you doing? I'm in there. All right, well, turn that off so I don't have to hear myself. Hi, D. Uh, <laughs> Marie said, or Marie, D said, hi, Bucky. Yeah, I, I'm on rare form tonight. So I go to get my glasses. I tell everybody in the uh, video today that I'm going to come. I have new glasses. No, I go in there. And they say, oh, they come back. She goes, I'm going to have to reject these glasses. And uh, I said, okay. She goes, do you see the little drips? I'm so blind. I can't see diddly. I was just thrilled I was going to have glasses that when I look forward, I see again. So I'm trying to look. I go, oh, yeah, I see it. And I, she said there were little drips by the by the nose pieces of when they put on the... Uh, other lens, you know, I don't know. So she says, well, I'm so sorry. I said, well, can I just try them on just for a second? She says, do you want to keep them and then just come back in a month? I said, uh, no, I don't want to do that. So I'm here at Ching from the bathtub. 
so I won't be chatting for a while. I'm here at Ching from the bathtub. I'm sure that was some kind of a uh, helping out with the how the phones like to help themselves as to what we're saying. Hello, Sandy. I need to come to your sale. I I have been told by um, Jane that you have really good sales, and I have yet to get to one. I will make it a point this week. Hi, Polly. Paula. Hi, Steph. Hey, Paula, I bet you were also, I know uh, Poodle had to be drooling on, um, yeah, spell check. Or no, it's not that, it's autocorrect. I'm sure that uh, Poodle was having a stroke on those um, thing. I was having a stroke. The, the poinsettias, man, those were gorgeous, even if they were plastic. So, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, it was <clears throat> nice for the last couple days. And then it's supposed to, how come I didn't just fix my screw up because I meant autocorrect? I don't know. I don't know why I did. Hi, Dana. So, uh, see now, you made me where I forgot what I was saying. T, stop it. So I was talking with Jane on the phone, and she had told me that someone in our group has COVID, but D did check on her, and she said she was home from the hospital and doing better. And it's Lynn Hampton, so um, I don't know if you, if any of you know her well enough to have her, you know, email or something, but give her a hi or whatever. I myself freak out. I just uh, found out from somebody at our church that the, their whole family had it. And I don't want to get it, but I don't, I need, I want to go with my brother to the bin so bad. Pinto bins. Huh? You need pinto bins? <laughs> no, not pinto bins. Oh, gosh. Yeah, well, good thing she is feeling better, but I guess she had really been sick. Like D was. I mean, I don't, uh, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. A lot of people told me, don't just, because, uh, you know, D was saying she went into Walmart or something like that. And I said, uh, I'm not, I don't go into big stores like that, but I, if I'm wearing my mask, uh, I know they keep saying, you know, stay in your house, stay in your house. Don't go anywhere if you, unless you have to. Well, sometimes you may not have to physically go for something, but mentally you just sometimes need to do it. Sometimes if you don't, you're going to be nutso. You might be nutso before you go. I know. We went We went past uh, Walmart. <coughs> Excuse me. I have got, my throat is really jerky today. <coughs> we went to past Walmart and it, the parking lot was full. I mean, all the way out to the edge. And I said, well, you know, people are Christmas shopping. I said, in spite of COVID, you know, life does kind of go on. People take risks because they've got little kids. Some people just, you know, feel it's their job to go shopping. I have honestly bought so much stuff off of sales, off of these live sales. And I have got a few things. Um, uh, Like I got my, I don't want to say anything in case she ever would watch this, but I got something for my daughter and son-in-law from Walmart, you know, online. But I haven't really, went, I'm not planning on going into a store and with the intention of shopping for Christmas presents. So, Ron, don't expect any. 
I'm on my computer tonight because, um, in fact, why isn't the thing scrolling? The little thingy. Now it is. Okay. Okay, down at the bottom is my um, email address. That's why I did it with this dealio so that I you guys could see my email address. Anyone have to ask me. So, um, anyway, we're, we're supposed to get some kind of torrential rain tomorrow, and I'm not really looking forward to it, but... Tomorrow will be a good day to go to the bins. Not, no, my brother always says, no, good. we're not going on the weekend. I said, okay, okay. But he, since he's off work, we could go like Monday or Tuesday. And maybe it won't be raining either. I could handle the uh, staying of in the 40s or 50s until eh, March. <laughs> it would be nice, but somehow I don't see that happening. So my other glasses are like tortoise shell looking. And they're Danny Goki designer glasses. Everybody's got a, a design now or a line of glasses. But my daughter went to this company called Zenny. And you get them online and you like take a picture with their camera and you try on different glasses. So I got Ron's prescription today and uh that's in the car, I hope. And I told him, I said, we're going to go and um, as soon as I get my glasses, but we can already go ahead and get him some sunglasses and extra glasses and stuff. So, so yes. All right. Oh, have you gotten them from uh, Zenny? Well, hello there, Thrift You. Yeah, 70s all year would be perfect for me, too. I, uh, I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. All right, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. I guess we shall get started. And uh, if you have anything funny to say, just throw it out there. Just not rude, only funny. I'm drinking delicious tang. And it was the very last one. So I'm happy because I got the last one. Okay, guys. I had a lot more Christmas left than I or that I had than I thought. So you know, I, I didn't realize it. But I have other stuff, too. So uh, I'm going to start with something Christmas, though, because it's the majority of it. And I'll start with something little. I'll start with this old world Santa uh, ornament. And uh, he's got a COVID beard because he hasn't been able to go and be groomed or anything. Plus, he has bells. Lots of bells. And this little guy is $3. And he's stuffed. And he's got a belt here. And he's number 40. $3, number 40 for the Old World Santa ornament. Oh, I keep forgetting. I never know where I'm at here. Yeah, there we go. Look at the camera. Do it, do it, do it. He's even got a mouth. Really? Oh. Okay. All right. I have some Avon. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I have this little Avon swan. 
and uh, it's milk glass. One of the little spokies from the crown is broken off, but I never even noticed it until you got it home. Um, it still has cologne in it, and I think it smells pretty good myself. I mean, I always liked um, Avon. It smells like Avon. And it's a uh, bird of paradise. Anyway, this little swan is $3, and it's number two. $3, number two, for the little Avon swan. Oh, guys, don't. Don't be talking about all that stuff. Um, This, I don't know if anybody knows somebody who's got a birthday in December, but I thought this was really sweet. It's a Precious Moments box. And, you know, their other stuff is very pale. But it's got the... Um, birthstone. Birthstone of turquoise. It says December in the front. It's a little key hanging here. Uh, it says, December shines with many joys on faces of small girls and boys. Uh, and, ooh, inside it says, Turqu December, turquoise, color of loyalty, blessed with compassion and peace. And... This little box can be yours for $5, number five. $5, number five for the little trinket box. Okay, I have this vintage book. Pictures on the front are cool. It's called Meals on Wheels. And my brother thought it had to do with Meals on Wheels. But if you can see, of course, there's the <clears throat> trailer and everything. It's about cooking, you know, if you have a meal, a wheel home. And it was written um, in 1937 was when it was put out. And it cost $12.50 when it was new. And uh, it's kind of cool because um, <clears throat> it says, A cookbook for trailers and kitchenettes which was very big in those days, little trailers and people had kitchenettes where they didn't have a lot of room. So it's, you know, how to cook in small spots. And um, it says preparing for the trip, tells what kind of equipment and whatnot you need. But it has recipes in here like mm, creamed peas. I actually like that. Fresh peach shortcake. Tuna fish salad. Hmm. Huh. Anyway, this book is in very good shape as well. It is $7 and it's number 24. $7, number 24. Well, you could have the peach cobbler. I love cream fees, actually. Okay. Yeah, peach cobbler. Yummy. I love that, too. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. 
I stacked things. I love all vegetables. I can't. I don't. I can't think of any. <clears throat> I'm not real fond of uh, what's that one? I don't artichokes. I don't like. I mean, I'll eat them, but I don't like them that much. How about kohlrabis? <clears throat> I don't know what kohlrabi is. I can't say if I don't know. Alrighty, guys. I have something that could be used as a Christmas present. And it is this uh, pot holder. It's got a little uh, pen in it. And it's got uh, recipe cards. And it is $3. And it is number 32. Three dollars, number thirty-two. It's already in the package. You wouldn't even have to. Uh, I lost. Belinda. <clears throat> okay. Oh, okay. I was so excited about sending them. I sold, hi Sue, I sold uh, two of them to Jane. I sent her two. Ron was helping me in. Some, hi, hi Chicago lady. Okay, I have this really cool older book. Um, it's Charlie Brown, This Is Your Life. And um, it's in really good shape. Uh, the cover's a little. It could use a little more TLC on the cover, but um, this one is from 1988, and it's, you know, got all kinds of stories, cartoon stories, of course. Um, Charlie at summer camp, at the psychiatrist's office. Yes, I love Charlie Brown. When I was in high school, that, that was like our big thing. Anyway, this, um, and since he's gone now, he's even, these things are even more treasured and precious. Um, if the book is $4 and it is number 26, $4, number 26 for the Charlie Brown book. I was really upset because, hi, Nebby pal, because Belinda, Belinda Carroll. Carroll. Got you, Belinda. Uh, they didn't have the Halloween um, Charlie Brown one on, and they're not going to have the Christmas one on unless you get Apple TV. Well, I don't get Apple TV, so I I have I own them on of my own. So that wasn't happy with their box. You're kidding me, D. What do they want in it? Oh, I can't wait to get mine. I can't wait to I can't wait to complain to you. <laughs> what did they want in there? Uh, new car? A new car would be nice. Anyway, um, I don't. I don't know. I'm just babbling. I can't even think of what I'm babbling about. Everything. Oh, don't hide it. Yeah, I uh, I jumped right on them. Well, D, they're stupid. Whoever they are. Okay. I brought back this wallet because it's just so pretty. Um, and it's so soft and nice, this leather wallet. And, uh, I still think it would be make an awful nice gift for somebody. And it has um, lots of places to put stuff. And it even has two uh, snaps in case you have a lot of stuff in there. It'll, uh, you know... And adjust. And then on the other side, there's this zipper pouch. 
uh, the main one, which is right here, which has all these. But I've, this is for somebody who has like thousands of credit cards or thousands of cards. So far, nobody's complained about mine. Uh, so far. That don't mean they won't. Anyway, and it's got this little thing for your ID so that you don't have to, you know, just whip this out and that's it. So this very pretty teal wallet, genuine leather, is $4 and it's number 20. $4 and it's number 20. From Aaron that lives in Canada. Belinda. Nebby Pal. Nebby Pal. Nebby Pal. Um, I, I don't remember you buying from me before unless you're somebody with a, who's changed their name. Oh, really? I didn't know she's sold any. Um, so scrolling at the bottom is my email address. And after the sale, um, you're going to have to email me with your um, your information, your address, um, your PayPal uh, email address and everything. And then I will send you a, a uh, invoice and you can you know, pay it and then I'll send you your stuff. Hi, Jennifer Lab Mama. Okay. I have these, I think, very darling. Um, they're really, they look like they're really old. They're made in Japan. They do have little things in their head so you could put them on a tree as an ornament. But they look like little, you know, kids that are playing music and stuff for Christmas, doing Christmas carols. Um, they get a little bit of chip paint on top. They do have a lot of paint. You know, I mean, there's quite a bit of paint loss because it was cold painted. And this one here, I noticed today, it's got to be, I just happened, does have a chip, but I, I can touch that up. Um, these precious little boys, oh, they also have little cute little scarves. And I'm throwing this one in because I didn't know what to do with him, but he's so cute. And he's like the little drummer boy. And he's like, um, uh, he's, he's like real pale, like Yadro looking stuff. So anyway, the three little boys are $6 and they are number 43. $6, number 43 for the little carolers and the little drummer boy. Do you hear me? Gotcha, D. Yeah, I didn't see it. I was looking. Hello, D. We like us some little old stuff, don't we, D? So I sent a, a picture to Dee today of me when I was 47, and she said I look like a teenager. And I said, "What? well, I'll, I'll, I'll change the wording a little bit. I said, what the heck happened to me? And she laughed at me. That was wrong of her. It was wrong. Aging is not a good thing. I'm, I was remembering when my grandmother. Uh, Polly, she's embarrassed. That's why. Oh, you want cash? I mean, I don't know if I can turn the thing around this way. He's, he's going, no, no, he don't want. No, I don't mind that. I just don't want things to just discombobulate. <laughs> he, he thinks he's going to like. Um, no, I'm not going to break it. I'm just going to say it'll turn around and never be able to turn around again. You know, he's just. 
And she says, how come Ron doesn't make an appearance? I want to see the cashew man. <laughs> Boy, he's been quiet tonight about cashews, hasn't he? Uh, it's kind of weird, but the other day I noticed that Vinny was selling one of these here things. And uh, I forget what he said it was. I, I believe it's an ashtray. It is. Because it's got little divots here. But it's so pretty. I, I think I would not use it for an ashtray. Um, no. Even if I smoked. I think I would put candy in it at Christmas time because it's got the little dojobber here. Anyway. Hey, Paula, you know what that's for, right? Belinda's eating them right now. That's for cashews. No, it isn't. You're right, Carol. It isn't for sissies. Oh, I started to say, I remember when I was looking at pictures uh, of my grandmother when she was young, and she was so pretty, and I'm thinking, and kind of looking at her, you know, as she was then, and I'm like, dang, what happened to her? And now I know. <laughs> she got old. <laughs> what I really love is this year. You go, Belinda. This here extra chin. I, I think I should put little eyes on it, make it like a, a whole nother person. <laughs> Could be my. D said, pass them over. Pass them over. Okay, I'm going to shut up. I'm, I'm really just babbling tonight. So this here little dish is $4 and it's number 23. It's depression, pink depression. That's beautiful. Guys. Pink depression. You know what this would be good for? Cashews. Cashews. Cashews, cashews, cashews. Or chocolate covered cashews. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. We won't even talk about that. You know, uh, hello, Jen. Hi, Jen. It's just, it's just not right, Paula, you know? That's why old ladies' eyes were like 3,000 scarves. and. Paula, do you mean drink or do you mean chug? Oh, I'm telling you, she's... And you know what's funny? Oh, my whole body is a waddle, too. Yeah. It's so funny because I actually do have a little bit left of my beer that I was drinking earlier today. So I shall have a drink. It's a little bit warm, but... I'm part German, so I don't mind. Okay, so back to this. number. It's $4, number 23. Maybe I should have just went live and we should just... Uh, Is that 23? Yeah, 23, $4. Right? Well, I don't want to put it there. Where do I want to put it? I don't know. And now, Jim Bootsy. Okay, got you, Jen. And now, I have a friend, this big Santa Claus. And he looks like wood. I thought he was wood because he's real heavy. And it's chipped and. And, and it, yeah, it looks like it's been, you know. Chiseled. Chiseled away and everything. So I thought, wow, it's wood. But it's not. It's resin. And they even filled in the bottom. They filled it so it's heavier, you know, so it wouldn't fall over, I guess. But I think he's the most cute Santa. Look at that face. He's got, he's got parachute pants on. Jeez. There's nothing wrong with this little guy other than he's lonely and needs a home. He is, yeah, he looks like he was whittled. He is $6, guys, $6 for this guy. And he's number eight. $6, number eight. That's beautiful. Uh, Carol, Carol D. D. For everyone here tonight that is new, that's never been here before, my email address is running along the bottom. And uh, after the sale, email me with your information so that I can send you an invoice, your um, 
real name, your mailing address, and your um, PayPal e email address. Or your mailing, yeah, your mailing address. I forgot what I was going to say, as usual. All righty. I have a cookbook here. It is Baking with the Brass Sisters. And I don't know who they are, but it has a lot of um, things in it, like using canned pumpkin, all different kinds of recipes. Um, it's got cakes. It's got all kinds of cookie recipes um, and bar recipes, which I love to make because they're easy. You know, like it has crisp vanilla butter wafers. Oh, God. Uh, ooh, rhubarb, roy, rhubarb upside down cake tea, um, rustic ginger peach pie, and just all kind of cool stuff. And this cookbook is new, it's not an old one, but it's I have it for three dollars and it's number 21. And uh, I was going to show you some, try to find a good picture of something. Oh, like, how about those? Are those walnuts? No, pecans. No, pecans? Those are sand cookies. Oh, like the, uh, the little... My friend sand hoochie bobbers from the my friend just call them sand tarts. I don't know. Jack's chocolate walnut caramel. Tarts. What year is that book? It is. Uh, 2015. Oh, wait. Yeah, I need my glasses, guys. Okay. Three dollars, number twenty-one. Um, well, get over there. <clears throat> and on this side, since you will be baking cookies, <coughs> you will need a rolling pin, and this is. An old one. It's got uh, green on the handles, which means it was made in the 30s. It is a little stiff, but you could put, um, all you have to do is put some oil down in here and roll it a little bit and it will loosen up. Um, everything looks still good on it. It's got a crack on this one, but. <laughs> Did you hear what Paul said? No. <laughs> Take the tape off the, the lady's face on the book. <laughs> well, do you want to see the book? Do you really want me to take her uh, the tape off? I will. All right, guys. If you do, let me know. But yeah, that's all I was going to say. Yeah, and it, it wouldn't hurt to do the whole whole thing just to, you know, get the um, wood, you know, What am I? What's the word I want to say? Conditioned. All right. Why do you know her? There they are in all their glory. They're sisters. And they are very, they have very big smiles. And they're kind of chubby, so it shows that they've been baking a lot. They do bake. They're not like some of these on TV that weigh five pounds and... <coughs> <coughs> I'm... You were running that pin weird. I was running it weird. Yeah. <coughs> you were turning the roller instead of... Them. That's because one of them is kind of stiff. When you're rolling, you know, you'd be rolling like this. But this one's a little bit, it needs to be lubed up a little bit. 
Or I mean, when I'm doing it, I'm always like rolling like this. Oh. I usually do it like that. Do it you said. Jennifer Lab Mama never trust a skinny cook. Yeah, exactly. Um, Jennifer, you know what I say? Never trust a vegan. Oh, geez, Maria. So anyway, guys, uh, this is eight dollars. <laughs> I used to have green handles. <laughs> and it's number 27. Eight dollars, number 27 for the vintage rolling pin that is still absolutely usable. 27, huh? Yeah. Hi, Katie. Yeah, me too. Only they're not green. Uh, Maria. She said 26. Uh, Maria, it is number 27. What was number 26? Number 26, Belinda Carroll got it already. Charlie Brown. Oh, Charlie Brown book is gone. You must be behind a little bit. Did you mean 27, uh, Maria, or no? Okay, I don't know. Don't know. All right. Where was I? Okay. Um, I have this Avon Christmas ornament bottle and it used to have bubble bath in it but now it's empty um i was telling in my uh hall that my girlfriend in high school oh hi vintage craze that's all right i just usually show everything again uh you know if somebody's missed it um anyway she had i think hers was like blue or something i don't know but she had it on her dresser and every, i mean she put it out every christmas on her dresser and she had a a girly uh candle it was a christmas tree and stuff so um it was when i saw, found this i was like oh it reminded me of my girlfriend in high school but anyway i digress this is three dollars and it's really good shape. There's no paint off of it except around the very bottom where they had the tape. And it is number four, $3, number four for the Avon uh, ornament. They even rinsed it out. It smells like nothing, nothing. Number four, Cheryl Megason. Gotcha, girl. Did you get that one? Yep. <clears throat> Thanks, Cheryl. Okay, I have this really, 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 really cute little picture. And it is like tiny green, uh, like little stars kind of thing. And then it's got this lacy looking stuff on the top. It's inside. It's got the little stars. It's got a cute little handle. Um, I don't know how old it is. It's not, no stamping on the bottom of, at all. But I thought it would be really cute uh, for Christmas decorating. And um, there's no chips or cracks or anything like that. No hits, no runs, no errors. And it is $3.00. And it's number nine. Three dollars, number nine. 
Come on, vintage. Or on the wingman. Number nine. Lynn Dowdy. If you didn't, if nobody bought it tonight, I was going to go to town with it. Decorate it. You're going to have fun with this one. Okay. I got you, Lynn. I have this really pretty um, candle holder. It's made in Japan. Uh, it doesn't say who it's made by. <laughs> There's a piece of of a tag on here. I don't know what that's from. Um, and it's like a luster finish. Um, I don't know if you can see it. But it's like a luster finish. And the top of it looks like this. I think it's really sweet. It's beautiful. And it's just the color of the green is pretty. Anyway, it's five dollars and it's number forty-four. Five dollars, number forty-four. It is made in Japan and it's got some numbers on the bottom. XA11J. But all we care about is that it's made in Japan, right? Okay. Okay, I have this really, really pretty um, blown bowl. The ponto is here. It has clear here and clear on the edge. Um, at first I thought it, I didn't think it was blown glass but there are no uh, lines that it was in a mold or anything somebody said that sometimes they blow glass into a mold so they might have done that i don't know but i don't see any mold lines um it is eight dollars for the bowl and it's like uh and there's nothing wrong with it at all it's like a um like a grapey purple, I guess you'd say. That's pretty good size. And it is number 18. $8, number 18. I like how it has the clear on the bottom and around the edges. I think that's really neat. Cranberry color? Kind of. Oh, really? Well, whatever. It does have a pontal mark on the bottom, so um, I don't know. I don't know, but I know it's purry. Lynn Dowdy, 44. Oh, candle holder. That was a candle. Thank you, Lynn. Gotcha. Um, I don't know how you all feel about chess. Um, I've had several well, people try to. My goodness. You know, that kind of taught me how to play, but when they were. Wendy. We never played again. Oh, bye, sweetheart. I'll see you later. Um, but anyway, this actually my brother brought this over. Um, a chess book for kids. How to play and how to win. And I'm sure adults could learn by this too as, as well. Um, and 
And it was a troll book. You know, I think those were sold at school, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, Glenda. Hi, Glenda. How are you? Um, so this, well, originally it came with a chessboard too, but this is just the book. You could buy a chessboard as well. And this is $3. Be a good gift. Buy a, a chessboard and then give this. And it is number 25. $3, number 25 for the Learn to Play chess book. It's in good shape. There's no writing in it or anything. Um, Thrifting Adventures. I got you, Stephanie. You want to learn how to play chess, huh? Cana I know how to play cribbage. I do not know how to play canasta. In fact, I was telling Ron I was going to teach him how to play cribbage because uh, it's a fun game. I like to play cribbage. Okay. The next thing I have is this green um, plastic wreath. And uh, the light and stuff were very wonky. I took it apart and fixed it as best I could and tightened everything up better. It does work. Um, and I will plug it in here in a second. Um, and it has the thing to hang it up. Um, I'm assuming you could hang, I would hang it in a window. It'd be rather hard to hang it in the, uh, door unless you could, you know, put the cord somewhere. Okay. Let me do this for a minute. Okay. And there she is. And this is, uh, you know, I thought I put a price on it. I don't know if I ever did put it on or not. Um, it's at the very end, Ron. It's $8. I know that. It's on the last page. Eight dollars, and light up wreath is uh, number forty-five. It's number forty-five, and it is eight dollars. Forty-five and eight dollars for the pretty little wreath, light up wreath. You got some squatters there too. Uh, squatters. No, squatters. Yeah, I know. You want to sell them? Yeah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> these new plugs they put in are very hard to put stuff in. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> All right. Well, what's my call? It's not here. Poodle, so she's not going to get it. Alrighty. I said 45, right? The number for that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The light up wreath is number, okay. number 45. And it is eight dollars. Okay. Okay. I have a beautiful um um <clears throat> mm. 
counted cross stitch angel framed angel it's really really pretty um i always wish i could do kind of stuff like that but i can't so it is like this and it's not real big or heavy you know i mean it could be mailed easily. It is a sawtooth uh, hanger on the back. Yeah. It's $9. $9. And it is number 19. $9, number 19. $9 and number 19 for the beautiful cross stitch. Angel with a star. <sighs> You can contemplate that while eating cashews. I'm getting hungry. Cashew sounds pretty darn good about now. We got 26. Belinda Carroll got number 26. And Jen Bootsy got number 19. Gotcha. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We got a drink because we said. Okay, Jen Bootsy. It's almost empty. All right, guys. Uh, since I have some new people tonight, I am going to show the cat mug. <laughs> Somebody's accusing you of chugging. Was that a chug? <laughs> Yep, that's the way she is. Wait, let me see. Yeah. And normally, watch. See? Normally, she chugs with that one pinky out, too, but this time she didn't. Oh, you, yeah, you, I, I thought you might be lagging because you said some other number. I'm sorry. All right. The cat mug. It is a mug, and it sits. It will sit flat on its head on, on the table on its head. And I have two left, and they're in boxes. So I think, I think they would make an awesome gift. I just think they're super cool. Um, absolutely vintage. And you know what else? You could put cashews in here. If you don't like coffee, you can put cashews in here. Makes it like this. So this adorable kitty cat mug, H2O, ooh, eggnog, mm, uh, is $5, and it is number 14. And they have like a little tag on them. They're in a box. So it, you know, would make a nice gift. Nice $5 gift. Give them a, give them this and some coffee. Sus Spezio. Vintage Uprising, Texas. Hello, how are you? And Sue Spezio. I got one more mug. Anybody want it? Don't make me go into the new year with a mug, please. Mm. All right, Sue, we got you for number 14. Yes, we got you, Sue, you cool lady, you. Give them a Starbucks thing with this. Oh, you'll take them both? Oh, I love you so much. I love you. <laughs> because they've been taking up a space in my kitchen and I uh, she did she's taking them both bless her heart She nobody wanted to see me cry no it's an ugly thing to see ugly okay got you down for both Sue alrighty 
you be the you be the woman so all right guys let's see what else i got here well i have this right behind me there you go grace glass of chardonnay Ooh, that sounds good too um i don't i guess you can tell it's it's lit up but i did not put it showed a little like thing of holly on it on the box but there wasn't any on it so it didn't look like it had any but it takes two batteries i i'm just including the batteries if you buy it um i think it's super cool the the bulbs you know you could stick it on your windowsill it'd be really neat i think um uh we live in indiana northern indiana up against lake michigan yeah right up by lake michigan where do y'all live? Because obviously it is in the south. Y'all. Alrighty. So this candelabra, and it comes in a box. It all it all comes apart. Um, is five dollars, and it's number forty six. Five dollars, number forty six, for the pretty candelabra. It came from uh, Christmas, Houston, Texas. Uh, I have a niece. I have a bunch of family in uh, Houston, actually, in that area. Wow. You got Cheryl. This Mega was popular. Cheryl Megason. Cheryl got it here in first. So it's Cheryl. You got it, girl. I should have had 10 of these. But I only had one. Uh, okay. Now let's see what else I got here. We're going to go away from the Christmas for a minute. Um, I don't know how many of you guys like strawberries, but I found this really, really pretty plaque. It looks like it's a basket or something. And these 3D strawberries. I thought it was really pretty. It's, I think, made in Japan from the looks of the back. But um, I couldn't find anything wrong with it, except for that they weren't real. But I didn't see any cr uh, cracks or chips or anything. Not even any crazy. I didn't see any. But it is $7.00. And it's number 16. $7, number 16 for the plaque. It has a little um, hanger. hanger cord here. It's already got it on it. Uh, we About are... 20 uh, minutes. Right. From the dunes, not even that. Probably only 15 minutes. Uh, the... Yeah, 10, 15 minutes from the dunes. Where do you live, Jennifer? Or did you? Okay. I think I'm going to show this. Somebody I know used to collect um, cutting boards. I do not know who it was. But I found this really cute uh, snow dude. snowman cutting board. He's a snow it's, dude. It's really, um, really nice wood. It's real pretty. It's never been used. Um, and it's made by Dansk International Designs Limited. Made in Thailand. Um, yeah, they sell for a lot. I was shocked. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> yeah, the vintage uprising. Oh, you were from Chicago? Snow dude. Gotcha. So, yeah, uh, I could see a lot of Chicago people come out over this way 
and go to the dunes and stuff. Anyway, this here little guy is $7 and he is number three. $7, number three. $7 for the snow dude. The happy snow dude. <clears throat> He's happy till they cut him. And then when they cut him, he'll be sad. Okay, guys, I've got a bag of ornaments here. Now, there's only a couple little ones that are, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep clearing my throat. Um, there's not uh, a lot of old ones in here. Lisa Bowers, three. Lisa Bowers, three. Yep. What was that? It's a cutting board. Oh, we got you, Lisa. Oh. Out of sight on mine. Anyway, there's there's not a lot of um like vintage ones in here. There's one that's really cute that says it's got a bell, an angel head and a bell, and it says when uh, a bell rings, an angel hears its or gets its wings. Um there is two that are made out of wood that are little tops, like a toy top. Um there's Two plaster Santas that were painted. Uh, this one is glass. It's got the nativity on it. And uh, where was that bell one at? But there's some really nice ornaments in here. Um, even though they're not all vintage ones. So the bag of ornaments is eight dollars and it's number eight eight dollars number eight there's a couple of them old ice skates i put in there oh there's this bell really pretty this one here right here is real pretty belinda carroll number eight mm -mm. oh somebody was before her no. Uh, you got Big Santa at number eight, too. I'm going to put a bag of... Okay. On the back. They may buy Santa? <laughs> Carol D. Okay. Okay. So... Who did I say got him now? Belinda. Oh, Belinda Carroll. Well, there was somebody else. No, no, no. Number number eight was uh, Cheryl. No, Belinda Carroll. Oh, it was Belinda Carroll. Cheryl was after her. We're so confused. <clears throat> yeah, you did, Carol. We made him. I made a mistake. Ron fixed it. I get a little carried away sometimes and make something the same number and stuff. But he catches it. He's the man. He's the man with the plan. So so he says anyway. And yes, she got, yes, Belinda got the number eight. She got the bag of ornaments. Number eight. Belinda Carroll. I don't, this doesn't even show with this. I thought it might show. <clears throat> well, geez. sorry, Cheryl. <clears throat> well, for you angel lovers out there, this is a, a really nice candle holder. I know because I've used it for many years. I always put a little um, battery one in here. Um, and it's made by, um, I never can remember the name of these people, Party Light. Made by Party Light. And it's an angel. It's 
flying in the air. Christmas Angel. Uh, it is $4. And it is number 35. $4. Number 35. Nothing wrong with the girl. She's has no chips. I, li I like they always have the um, felt on or velvet on the bottom so it doesn't scratch anything. Yes, it is bisque. It is bisque. Mm. I know some people don't like bisque. It doesn't look like bisque to me. It is bisque. It's not satin or anything. It's bisque. Ooh, this one's showing this one. Okay, I do have this though. I have this really pretty um Ron and I, yes, everyone says we're funny. <laughs> we're funny as a rubber crutch. Um, I have this really pretty um you can't really see the light with this. It's so this light is so bright. Um, it's like a almost like stained glass. Um it's not crackle glass. It's more like a stained glass. I'm sure with a appropriate candle in it and when it's not light. I, yeah, I, mine says 56. Holy cow. We're moving on up in the world. You can also put those uh, those uh, small little T uh, LEDs in it. Yeah, if you could, right, you could put little... Uh, Fairy lights in here or whatever. I know. I think it's gorgeous. My brother brought it over. If you guys, if you guys uh see me, yeah, I know. If you see me enough or you hang with me enough, you'll find out that I talk about my brother Rocky. He brings uh me all kinds of stuff from the bins. And uh he already just asked me. <laughs> so how many bins is this? How how many more could he bring? When could he bring some more stuff? No, how many bins is that? I'm I'm gonna say it now. This is five dollars for this pretty thing here, and it's number forty-two. Five dollars, number forty-two. Yeah, don't say that. Vintage crazed. So far. Well, he no, he has an obsession with shopping at, at the Goodwill and auctions and whatever he can shop at, yard sales. He has an obsession, period. So he has been nice enough to tell me, like, if he has something really big that he sells, I usually just give him the money. But, you know, for all these smaller items, we just split it. Oh, you were joking. <laughs> P. Greg, number 42. I got you, P. Greg. Okay. All right, you guys can laugh all you want. So last time I'm going to show this. Yes, hi, P. Greg. I think this thing is cool. It's very kitschy. And God bless the lady who worked her butt off to crochet this candle here. It's sitting on top of a very old Pringles can. It's got plastic flowers. You can see the plastic flowers. And then it's got like a pipe cleaner for the uh, flame. And it is three dollars number thirty nine. Three dollars number thirty nine. I have two small ones that my grandmother made me. They're on toilet paper rolls, but um, she crocheted the little that is flame. What number thirty nine, thirty seven. Is that thirty seven? Thank you. Okay. Judy Reardon. 
I gave them the wrong number. Judy Reardon got it first. Well, I give it to her because <coughs> I am. <coughs> My gosh. Okay, Judy, you got it. It was actually number 37. So if I come up with a 39 later on, it, it, it kind of smeared and I couldn't tell. I thought it was 39. All righty. <coughs> Reardon, Reardon. I'm I love put, I'm just going to put one Reardon. That's fine. I love Kitchy myself personally. And, uh, um, <coughs> <clears throat> I'd make one, but I'm so bad about doing stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just not that good at it. I guess I could have my daughter make one if she didn't work too much. <clears throat> I'm only 5'1". The bins are, are a stretch for me. Oh, you're only 4'9"? Wow. I'm ginormous next to you, Paula. You're only four six. Bring on the kitsch. Bring on the kitsch. Well, that's about as kitschy as it gets, girlfriends. But 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 yeah, I'm always looking for kitsch because I love the kitschier it is, the better I like it. Um <clears throat> my um Anyway, I said my grandmother made me two of them, and they're on toilet paper rolls. I know. That's what I always hear. And I am, D, you're only five or four foot nine. Lynn Dowdy's five foot. There's no way D's that short. Oh, maybe she's saying she can't believe somebody's four foot nine. Yeah, somebody, they, I know every time I am measured, uh, I ask them every time, am I still five foot one? Am I still five foot one? All right. I bought this. I thought it was so cute because it has all these little owls on it. Well, when I untaped the 400 pounds of tape, um, all right, that's what I thought. How tall are you, uh, D? Anyway, I thought it was so cute. Hi, Pink Elephant Parlor. Me and Jane were just talking about you today, and she told me I needed to come to your sale. <clears throat> so anyway, I got off the tape, and in here is potpourri that somebody made, I believe. And it smells really, really good. It smells like... um. So it's kind of like apple pie, but it's got these pine cones on top. And then um, down at the bottom, there's like, I don't know what the berries are. So you could take it out and clean it all out and use it for something else. But yeah, it, it is hard to hit all those sales. I myself have a hard time. Hi, Amy Cox. <coughs> so anyway, um, it, it's a cool container you could do with it what you want i will leave the stuff in it if you want me to or i can throw it out but it is five dollars and this seals really good too by the way and it is number 15 five dollars number 15 Will do, Pink. She wants us to wants to see us there at her, her show. Okie dokie. Uh, Sam is tall too. I've been next to Sam. She's pretty tall. So I'm taller than I am. Okay, I've had this for a long time. 
This is a Christmas ashtray again, but it's so cute. It would have been great for a party. It's also got that luster finish on it. It was made by Yugako, Yugako. I don't know how to <clears throat> say it, but it's a play. It's a company in Japan. Um, it's got gold all the. It, every, it's in perfect shape. There's no gold missing or anything. Um. Anyway, it is five dollars, and it's number thirty-eight. Five dollars, number thirty-eight. There's the little sticker. Yeah, I, I had found this one, uh, gosh, probably a year ago. D. Gotcha, D. Sorry, Edwin. D beat you out just by that much. <clears throat> All right. I have a Lefton uh, green ceramic tree dish. Last week I was showing white ones. This is green. And um, it's their traditional one. There's nothing wrong with it, I don't think. I don't. No, nope, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It is five dollars, and it's number thirty-nine. Five dollars thirty-nine, and it's got the left-hand sticker right there. I hate this. I can't tell where I'm going. Thirty-nine. There you go. Thirty-nine, number five, or five dollars. Uh, I heart for the Lepton tree dish. I heart told things. Got it. And I, I love all things. I heart old things. Yeah. Um. Hello, Soul Nate. <clears throat> Biscuit. Hi, Jackie. Hi, everyone. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. I'm good. To, I'm happy to see everybody. This is the most people I've ever had. I'm so excited I could have a stroke. But I, I won't. I promise I won't. How about a catastrophe stroke? I'll have, not have a stroke. <clears throat> okay. All right. Yeah, some of these things I'd forgot I had, and then I thought, oh man, I've got to sell these. I have three out of four of the um Holly Hobby glasses that were being given out by um Coca Cola in 1977. Oh, did she? She Jane is a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart. And I missed her sale again today. I wasn't even home. Actually, I was going to get my glasses. <sighs> um, this is one of them. This is number two. And it's got the them on a sled. Yeah, I always look at her. Um, <clears throat> were you there, D? Cool. I have to uh, look at her replay and see what what might be available. Um, and then there's this one. This is number four. And then this one um, is number uh, one. And the Girls are stringing uh, popcorn. So for the three glasses, it is $30. $30. Yeah, it's $30, guys. It's $7. And it is number 30. $7, number 30. For the three. 
Holly Hobby Christmas Glasses from 1977. Oh, I got to redo this thing again. <clears throat> Take your time. Man, I feel bad that I missed her sale again. But that was right when I was at the eye doctor. Hi, shop girl star. <clears throat> you, you okay? Okay, what was that last one? I lost uh, everything. It doesn't matter because um, it's number thirty-seven dollars. Number thirty. Yeah, seven dollars. Okay. Seven dollars. Okay, got it. Sorry about that. That's right. All right, I have an Avon, another Avon bottle. I thought this was very Christmassy because it's green. And it had unforgettable cologne in it, but. 39. Lynn Dowdy, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but uh, I Heart Old Things got 39. Lynn, you need to uh, refresh. So uh, this here Avon bottle is five dollars, and it, it's all it's all cleaned out. It doesn't smell like anything, and it is number thirty one. Number thirty one, five dollars. You know you could actually use that. You know, like you got down here. It's got a stopper in it, but you could use it for a bud base. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly. Uh, that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, the Thrill of the Thrift got it. D. Joel, I have another one if you would like it. I have one um, somewhere. I know I have another one. Um, if you would like it, I can put you down for one too. Just let me know. And <laughs> 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 time for cash. <laughs> uh. Oh, thank you, Polly. Okay, Joel, did you want the another? Did you want one of those uh, Avon bottles for five dollars? Thanks, guys. Drink. All right, I'll drink Tang. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, so write that down. Okay, got it. All right, I have this, and I had looked and looked and looked for it to put it out a long time ago, and I couldn't find where I put it. But I found it. And it is this precious little... Um, it's made in Japan. It's a napkin holder on the back. It looks like a uh, brick and, um, 
it is in beautiful shape because it's cold painted and all the paint's still there. Um, it's got the Japan sticker on the bottom. No chips or cracks or anything. No crazing. And it is $5.00. And number 32, $5, number 32 for the sweet little Santa man. Oh. Um, that would be D, the thrill of the thrift. Boy, D, you're fast tonight, girlfriend. Wait, 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 wait. There's... The Throw of the Thrift, Amy Cox, and I heart old things. The Japan napkin holder? Yes. Did, no. Didn't you didn't you do that? No. Number 32. No. Okay. You're welcome. You be welcome. Um, I have a longer burger, um, pewter ornament from 1988. Um, I think it's really pretty. Trying to get it straight. Straighten up. Okay. And then it's, uh, now I've got a shadow on it. It's a little basket with poinsettias in it. Um, you and what? Take your top hand off. You just hold it by the bottom. That's why I didn't do that. Well, anyway, it's very pretty. And what's nice is it don't have like huge numbers saying what year it is. So you wouldn't really, you know, it is stamped Longer Burger 1988. Comes in this box. It is $5, number 36. $5, number 36 for the, um, Computer ornament. Thank you, Nate. All right. Okay, I have some coasters. They're the kind they're like um kind of like paper and then they're Did waxed. Anybody, anybody get 36? Oh uh, no. Okay. And then they're like waxed. Okay, Judy. Bye bye. Have fun. Are they waxed or starched? They're like waxed, kind of. Anyway, they're really pretty. And they're disposable, so you don't have to worry about, you know, cleaning them up and stuff. There's 20 in the package. Oh. It's on your account. You do it on your account. Anyway, uh, this is $3, number six. $3, number six for the coasters. Hi, Debbie Shaw. Hi, Christina. I didn't know you were here. Hello. Um, Lynn Dowdy. Lynn, got you, girlfriend. 
The next thing I have to show, it brings back really great memories for me personally. I don't know, but if any of you guys are old enough to be you're back from dinner. Uh, this is a vintage, um, like a lingerie, I guess you would call it, pouch. And back in the day, we used to uh, put our nylons in here. Now, I've used them to put hankies in too, but we used to put our nylons in here. And I just think it's such a cool, kitschy thing. I mean, you could put it, use it for anything, really. But um, it's like, it's uh, like plastic and it's quilted. It's in really excellent shape for the age of it. Very 50s. And it is $3.00 number 22 three dollars number 22 for the lingerie pouch oh it must be raining i hear the rain i hear the what tires on it on the pavement it was raining when I walked, walked out the other day. Oh, was it? Yeah, an hour or so ago. Oh. Hey. I'm determined to break that. Stop it. Cut it <clears throat> out. 22. Hosiery bag. Nebby Pal. Nebby Pal, thank you. Um... I also have these things. I have one one or two that were in my mom's, and then I bought, I have two, and then I bought one that was at uh, the Goodwill one time years ago, and they're like oval, and they're quilted material, like silky material, and you would put your hankies and things in those too. Um, yeah. I remember the first pair of nylons I got. Okay, Maria. And I was so skinny that uh, I could barely hold them up. It was terrible. And I had to have them because we were in choir and the teacher said, you have to wear nylons. And I'm like, okay. Well, thank you, Sheila. I, I try. Or whoever said that, that I have a lot of nice things. I try. Um, I found this jar. It's Anchor Hawking. I looked and I researched and it never had anything in it. It was just a jar they put out. They had them up for the seasons. It is, um, I don't have anything to put behind it really. It's two people ice skating on the jar. With evergreens behind them. And there's, yeah, pine trees behind them. Oh, and there's a little dog running on the ice. Okay. Anyway, uh, it, it has a green plastic top. So I guess you could put anything you want in there. Hello, Jane. You could put cashews. Hi, Jane. I'm sorry I missed your sale again. I was at the eye doctor trying to get my new glasses that they didn't have. That they didn't have. They're ice skating on the jar. Yes, on the jar. And then since it didn't come with anything in it and it doesn't smell like anything, you could fill it with cashews. Isn't Jane a sweetheart? Anyway, somebody got ambitious and they cross-stitched a snowman and glued it in the lid. So it's been embellished. So the, uh, oh, we got a drink. I said cashews. The jar is $5 with or without cashews. If you buy it, there will be cashews in it. And, uh, And uh, <laughs> Paula's really digging the. Uh... Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's five dollars and it's number one. Number one, five dollars. 
for the char missing its cashews. What is that one? Number one. Number one? Like an Uno. As in I'm? Belinda Carroll. Belinda? <clears throat> oh. Okay, I have this cute little Christmas purse. It's velvet. And it's got these little ornaments on the front of it. It's got a little cord for a handle. And it's like satin on the bottom, you know, around the edges. It's got like a magnetic closure. And it's got a little pocket on the inside. It's clean as a whistle. Beautiful, brand new. And it is four dollars and it's number seven. Four dollars, number seven. Brand new. It isn't brand new. Never been touched by the hand of man. Well, or I, I would say it doesn't look like it was ever used, that's for sure. It's extremely clean. <clears throat> uh, that would be Jane Newhouse. Jane's planning on going out for Christmas. I am planning on doing some stuff for Christmas. COVID or no COVID. Hi, oh my vintage. Okay, let me see here. Okay, Jane, we got you. I have a milk glass, three-sectioned dish. It's really good for the holidays. You can put your, you know, uh, olives and different things in it. You could put it on your coffee table with candy and nuts and stuff, cashews. And... Um, <laughs> Not yet. So it is four dollars, and the gold on this is perfect. It doesn't even. Uh, I mean, it's not, and there's no chips or cracks or anything either. Nope, no hits, no runs, no errors on that baby. It's it's pretty. So anyway, it's four dollars, and it is number seven. Look at a little uh, little gold painted BBs. Yeah, there. and you know, I mean, these would be so nice if if you. I don't know if you guys make cookies or candy or anything, but you could you know, put different cookies and stuff in it. I mean, for that matter, you could fill it and give it to somebody as a gift because, you know, that's pretty pretty nice thing for a gift. Uh, Lynn Dowdy, $7. Number seven, I mean. No. That, that's already been bought by Jane Newhouse. She's still way, oh, way, way behind. Oh, Lynn, you need to go out and refresh and come back in because you're behind. Because that was already sold, honey. Um, It's kind of heavy, yeah. I'd say uh, maybe like a pound and a half. And we're talking about $4, number 17. Yeah. Number 17, milk glass with the three, uh, three areas there. Three areas. The three thingies. You'd be funny, Ryan. You'd be funny. Lynn Dowdy. No, it's number 17. Lynn Dowdy. She's got numbers. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I see. You thought it was number seven. Okay. We got it now. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a divided dish run. Yeah, that too. Or it's with the thing with the three thingies. Oh, jeez. Okay, I have here a figurine. And it is of a 
couple of kids in a sled. It looks to me almost like it's in Norway or up in Minnesota or something. There's a really nice dog on it. And is, is it gone? It is. It's in pale colors, like the kind of like the uh, I keep using Yadros as a uh, reference, but it's got those Yadro vibes. And uh, it it's got some, you know, it's kind of fancy schmancy it's and stuff. Decorative uh, sleigh. And they got sweet little faces. They're, you know, just kind of plain little faces. So this figurine, it does not have any cracks or chips or anything. And it is $4, number 34. $4, number 34. Yeah, I've been finding a lot of stuff that has that kind of yadro look to it. Very nice. It has the cushions on the bottom. I, 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 I'm not fond of yadros, but I am fond of this muted uh, color scheme for some reason. If you don't have a, you know, if you're not into really bright uh, Christmas colors, these are the kinds of things I think I would want to have in my house. Very classic looking. I love the little sled. It's so cute. It's got little designs all around it. <coughs> oh, I've got such a tickle in my throat. A tickle in my throat. Okay. Uh, let me see. <sighs> I only have a few more, a couple more things here, guys. In fact, this might be the last thing. If I can pick it up. Oh, no. I got some stuff on the floor. Never mind. All right. I have um, these, I think, are so cool. They are Norman Rockwell. And I'm talented. I can juggle. <coughs> they are uh, Norman Rockwell ornaments that are like um, cameos. There's this one of kids. Um, <coughs> um I need a cough drop really bad. Do you have any on your on your desk, cough drops? No, I don't think so anymore. There might be a box on the counter. Uh, anyway, this one is of kids um, practicing for the pageant. Um, this one was number, the fourth one, number 80, or in 1983. This is of like three musicians playing. Or they're caroling because there's a guy singing. And this one was from 81. It was number two in the series. They're like a resin um, material. And then the circling around it is a metal. And then this one is um, sixth in the series. And it's two little kids pass out in a wingback chair and... They got their stockings hung above them, and Santa's peeping around the corner. And then this one is so cute. It's of two little kids, and they're talking to Santa. And this one's in a, the plastic, is a yellow plastic. I don't know why, but it is. And this one was from 1980. Uh, this one was the very first one. And this one is my favorite. It's Santa. He's pooped out. He's tuckered. And he's got his boots off. And he's just in his long underwear. And this one was 1988, the ninth one. It looks like that. And uh, I got to find the price again. The tag, the tag. Oh, so... Uh, the five of these ornaments are $10 and they're number 10. You get five ornaments for 
Um, I was going to sell them as a group. Uh, if you would prefer, I can sell them. Jane separate. Newhouse, 10. Oh, I guess they already sold them. Jane Newhouse. Sorry, Cheryl. <clears throat> Originally, I was going to sell them separately, but I thought it might be hard to do it, so I just put them together. Thank you, Jane. Okay, Jane. Sorry, Cheryl. All right. I have, uh, I found more of the C9 bulbs. There's uh, one, two, three, four. There's 18 or 19 of them in here. There's three packs of green and there's one that's multicolored. Um, I left them in the packs because that's how they came. But um, this you could you you know do whatever you want with them if you want to you know decorate with them. I don't know. You, some people actually are using them. I had a tag on it and it fell off. Would you? Uh, it's uh, number eleven, and it is six dollars. Six dollars for the all the bulbs, and it's number eleven. Those are C nine bulbs. Six dollars and number eleven. <coughs> brand new in the pack. Yeah, I had the um thing on it. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, huh, weird. Okay. I have this um snack jar. Southwest. It's yeah, it's got a southwest vibe. It's amber glass. Um and we have it has like wooden um handles. Yes. Has a wood top. It just sits on it like that. Um cookie jar, right? Well, I think you put whatever you want in it. It's a snack jar. Anyway, uh, it is $10, and it is number 12. $10, number 12 for the snack jar. Number 12, $10 for the snack slash cookie jar. It says snack jar. So pretzels and mixtures and... Yeah, I was going to say, uh, you could put pretty much anything yeah, in here. Yeah, kind of like check mix or... Yeah. You know, oh, that is a good idea. I want to make some homemade Chex Mix this year. It's best. Or what's this other stuff? Trail? You will take eleven. I will take eleven. What was C nine bulbs? Okay, okay, Joel, gotcha. <clears throat> Paula, this would be one heck of a lot of cashews. But you know what? What I was gonna say when you make homemade. Chex mix, it it the recipe calls for okay, peanuts Joel. and stuff in it. They don't have peanuts in the one you buy. It doesn't taste as good. Alrighty. But the trail mix that would that would go really good in there. But yep, I guess if you wanted to put cashews in here, you would OD. I would say not not only that, but man, that would be pricey. Yeah, Chex mix, it would be expensive. Go to Aldi's, pick up that big thing of uh, trail mix. No. Yeah. Yes. All righty. Hey, look at me. Yes. <clears throat> no. Uh-huh. Great. So. Um, I have another big item. It's very light, though. Very light. And it is vintage. It is mid-century modern. Kind of a Danish modern got a wooden handle chrome top um it's very clean on the inside it is an ice bucket i haven't either um uh, real nice and clean um and it has the little wood handles on the sides it's got like a wood finish or some tape on it and it is made by chromex 
I remember my mom having stuff by Comex in the 50s. And it is $9, number 13. Nine dollars, number thirteen, for the Chromex ice bucket. You could now. There's another thing. I mean, if you didn't want to use it as an ice bucket, you could certainly put, you know, cookies and stuff in it. I don't see why not. Well, that's where you put uh, put your ice in it, and uh, and then you tell somebody you want your martini shaken, not stirred. <clears throat> My name is Bond. I have an old James Bond um, ice bucket at my camper <clears throat> that I will be bringing home, I suppose. I really like it. I haven't used it in a long time. Um, <clears throat> I was wrong. I have more stuff. Really, Angela? <laughs> <laughs> Ron Bond. I have this big, uh, it's big, a uh, tray. It's plastic, plastic Christmas tray. It's so it's not heavy. It is big, but it is not heavy. And it is $5. And it is number 41. This 41. One of my things my brother brought in. And I said, eh, it needs a little paint here and there, but uh, all in all, you know, it could be fixed well, up. You know what? It is a cool plate. Well, it, what's nice is uh, you don't have to worry about breaking, you know, if you're taking well, stuff somewhere. That is just a cool plate to take from house to house, you know, post COVID, you know, when we can. We can take. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, we will be, you know, there will be a day when there is. Oh, a absolutely. You know? So, anyway. And you know, all of us are going to just go nuts. Well, no I'll, pun intended. I'll, uh, already, I'll already be there. Uh, yep, my name is Ron. Ron Alrighty. Ron. I have another um, Christmas around the world. For you, this one is a little boy and girl. They're um, porcelain dolls, and this one originally was glued down on top of him, kind of like this. But the glue has come undone. Um, I was going to re-glue it, and I thought, no, I'm going to leave it. Maybe whoever buys it would like to do whatever they want with it. Um, it's a brass and wood. Um, what do you call it? Sleigh. Sled, sleigh. There's a package in the back. And I heard it go blip. And then I realized, oh, it's musical. That's good. That's good. I have a box for this. I just thought this was so cute. And it is $8. And number, number 29. Number 29. $8, number 29. For the brass and wood sleigh with the two kids. With the two little kids. Well, there she is. And that plays Jingle Bells. Cheryl Megasin. And like I said, I, I do have a box for this. I used to love those um, Christmas around the world things. Um, okay, Cheryl. They I'm had sorry, such the cute the, stuff. The crew there, Cheryl got it. They had such cute stuff, and I was young, and I never had any money to buy it. <laughs> I always had to buy the okay. little things. Did you have, oh, that the coffee mug right over there. Oh, 
Is that the only thing I didn't show? No, not, not that one. Right. Is that the only thing I didn't show? Yep. <clears throat> See, I need Ron to tell me. Did you really? I, 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 well, and the, by the time that was the nineties, my kids were all grown. So I didn't go to them anymore, but when they were younger and, uh, I'd go, I never had the money. I was always broke. I have a coffee mug and on the box, it says for 2000 years, Christmas has come and gone. Yet God's real truth still shines through. And um, that is on the front of the mug. This is what's that's on the front. On the back is the uh, rest of it. And then it says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6, new... Uh, International Version Bible, NIV. Um, this is what Christmas is all about right here. Okay, guys. That's a very, very beautiful mug. In its decoration and its finish. It's $4. And it's number 33. Oh, Gina, you did. Jane Newhouse. Jane Newhouse. Yes, this is, it came from a Christian, uh, the family Christian bookstore. And they went out of business, which is kind of sad. But, um, I mean, not to be preachy, but that is what Christmas is all about. So. Well, you're right. Very, very beautiful, classic-looking mug, wonderful um, finish. I have a bunch of people that came late, and so I, I'm going to show what I didn't sell again if if you would like me to do that. <clears throat> and when I – I'm going to tell you now, I'm not going to have a sale next week because I need to regroup and get my stupid Christmas stuff up. Okay. And, hold on a minute. Okay. And then the following week is Christmas Day, so uh, definitely I'm not going to have a sale that day, although who knows. But anyway, I'm not going to. But the week after that, which is New Year's Day, I am having a sale because um, I don't know. I For me, it's the most boring day of the year. So... Uh, I am going to start with, is this? The Avon Swan. Okay. So I have this Avon Swan bottle. Um, it still has its cologne in it. Um, it has one of the little, little thingies broke off here, but other than that, it's fine. Um, it is. It is $3. $3 and it's number two. Number two. $3, number two, guys. Oh, Joelle, that'll be cool. Christina Aguilar. Gotcha, Christine. Okay. What's the next thing? Excuse me. Uh, it would be either the, the bucket or the snack uh, snack jar. Well, I just showed them, so I'm not going to show okay. them again. All right. Okay. Uh, the Owl Potpourri, number 15. Okay, I have this owl container, 
And it does have potpourri in it now. Um, if you don't want it in, you could take it out or I could take it out for you and wash it up. It has a really nice seal on it. It's a real, real good seal. The potpourri smells really good. It smells kind of like... Yeah, keep your candy or your... Apple uh, stuff in it. Uh, whatever kind of uh, snacks you got in there, keep it sealed up real good. Anyway, it's $5 and it's number 15. $5, number 15. The Owl Potpourri. Or the Owl Potpourri thingy. And that also, this thing is its called a thingy. Yeah. Bye, Paula. Bye, Sue. Bye, Sue. All right. Okay. Strawberry flag. All right, I have this strawberry plate. Um, it, it was for $7, and it's number 16. Yeah, that's for sure. Beautiful. Don't get much more 3D than this. Very summery, so. But I know people collect strawberries, so. Or have them in their kitchen. All right, what else? Uh, then we'll go straight to <laughs> the purple bowl. Oh, let me do this one first. Oh, okay. I'd have to plug it in. Um, I did show this wreath earlier. It did light up. It light. It does light up. I. I'm not gonna plug it in again, but it lights up. And uh, this is all plastic. It's very vintage. And it was eight dollars, I believe. Oh, excuse me. And what number is it, Ron? I don't know. I must be allergic to uh, Christmas stuff. Dust. Because <laughs> Bye, Ron Bond. Light Hi, up, Kim. Light up wreath is um, number 45, and it is $8. Bye, Kim. How many dollars? It is, uh, the light up wreath is $8 and number 45. Oh, bless you too, Pink Elephant. So it's number 45, $8. Number 45. Number 45. Now, if we go... The way I was going, I got the number, and you just have to find the piece. I know. All right, the purple bowl, um, which was is very pretty. Um, it is eight dollars, and it's number eighteen. Eight dollars, number eighteen for the purple bowl. Eight dollars, beautiful clear lip. And the base has got the same clear. Yeah, it's got a pond, so I believe it's um, hand blown. And the color is inside. It's not a painted on. I don't know. Ron said no. nobody bought it. I don't have anything on a purple bowl. All right. What else? Oh. Uh. Oh, the Brass Sisters. Oh, yeah. The Brass Sisters. Let me uncover their face. The Brass Sisters Baking Book. You can, it has all kind of really good recipes in here. Good for this time of year. Um, and it was $3, number 21. Absolutely. Three dollars number twenty-one, the brass sisters. Bacon with the babes. Yeah, it's it's a newer, I mean it's a new book. It's not old. It was like two thousand five, seven. It's got some really good peanut butter hermits. Uh, yeah, it's got some really good recipes in here. Cashew fondue. Alrighty. Uh, 
Okay, what else? The next one is uh, Meals on Wheels. I can't believe nobody bought my Meals on Wheels. This is a cool book. I have this Meals on Wheels book. It's all kind of old recipes. It's from 1937. And uh it's got all kinds of recipes for um, that you can make in a small, you know, if you live in a small space. Like sautéed frog legs. Alrighty. I like sautéed frog legs. I do too. Strawberry pie, buttered asparagus. Congealed carrot and pineapple salad. Nah. Chicken a la, chicken a la king. That's okay. All right. So this book is $7 and it's number 24. Absolutely. 24, $7 for all the yummy re recipes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's next? Rolling pin. No, but. Uh, yeah, I don't love them. I like them. I love them. My father those. loved them. He loved them. Nobody wanted my rolling pin, the vintage rolling pin, for $8, number uh, 27. She was making mention that it is a little stiff on one side. They taste like chicken. It is number 27, and it is $8, and it is. It just needs to be oiled, that's all. It, well, it's bent because she's been hitting me with it. Whatever, it's not bent. It needs to be oiled. I, I, have, I, I have, should have already oiled it. I have lumps on my head Do that you? match the diameter. I'll tell you a really fast story. So, my grandpa always would go frog gigging. And we were over their house one time eating frog legs. And he said to me, uh, go in the basement and get blah, 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 blah. I don't even know what he told me to get. And I go in the basement and they had, uh, you know, the old deep laundry tubs. And in the laundry tub was a bucket of the frog heads and their front legs. And they were all like, and I freaked out and uh, that was gross. That was gross. Um, okay, what else? Okay, since uh, you don't want to, you don't want to buy her weapon, then that means that you're putting me in harm's way. So, I understand. Poor Ron, <laughs> Holly Hobby glasses, she has three of them. Yes, I have the Holly Hobby glasses, I have th they are beautiful. I have three of them. And they're in really nice shape. I mean, they haven't been through a dishwasher or anything. Nope. And they're number 30. And they are number 30, and they're $7. And they are $7. I, I'm only missing one of them. Yep. You have. She has three. Three Holly Hobby glasses. Number 30, $7. Yeah, my dad loved frog legs, too, when he... Uh, you know, we'd go out to eat. If he, like when he moved to Arizona, he'd come home. He'd always want to go on frog legs. Who loves squirrel legs? I've had squirrel, though. Okay. Um, What else? Okay. And then the two buckets? Or two? Uh, the kids on the sleigh. Uh-uh. We sold that. You didn't get that? Mm -mm. Oh, the kids on the sled. Sled. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. So the kids on the sled was four dollars. Yep. How about three dollars? Okay. Going down. Three dollars, guys. I've ate squirrel long, long time ago. Number thirty-four. $3. Yeah, number number thirty four, and I will give it to you for you can have it for three dollars. Now it's three dollar. What number? Thirty four. Thirty 
four. Jay Newhouse. She likes a bargain. There's a dog on it. It's a good deal. It's a beautiful figurine. What? Um. What? What about the party light angel candle? What about it? What about it, you say? Would that be number I three? also have the party light angel candle. Number 35. And I will sell this for $2. Wow. Two dollar for the party light angel. Light. Going from four to two people. Wow. Number thirty-five party light oh, angel yeah. candle. Number thirty-five. Number thirty-five. <sighs> two dollar. Two dollar. Two dollar. What Jim else? Bootsy. Jen Bootsy, gotcha. Yes. Uh, okay. Now, uh, uh, how about is four okay? What's that on the uh container with the pine cones? What number is that? Thank you, Cheryl. Um, it is number fifteen. Fifteen for four dollars. Thank you, Belinda. Belinda. Yes. Um. All right. Jen Bootsy got that for $2. Uh, next uh, thing that didn't get bought is the uh, uh, the Longenberger ornament. I thought something about that. Nope. Okay. That's number 36. $5. Okay, I have the longer burger ornament. It was pewter. Um, I can go four dollars on this if anybody's interested. The little pewter one that looks it's got the points that is in the basket. Hey Nate, how warm is it there today? Is it getting to be warm? It's springtime. Well, is this one in uh, New Zealand? All right. It's, is it summer now or spring? Summer. Yeah, 21st would be summer. Yeah, it's summer there because uh, your Christmas is in the summer. Oh, that must be nice. That must be so nice. Wow. I can't imagine having Christmas... In the summertime, I just I can't wrap my head What's around confusing that. Is when is his regular? What date is his regular Christmas, or is it the twenty fifth of December? Nate, your Christmas is on December twenty fifth, isn't it? Why wouldn't it be? Oh, really? Yeah, that's how we've had so much wind this year. It's crazy wind. I don't even that's stupid wind. Understand it. Okay. Ron's still looking. Okay. Old World Santa. Oh. The ornament. Oh, geez. Oh. I still, who bought the bag of ornaments? Uh, hang on. That was Belinda. Belinda Carroll. Belinda, I'm going to stick this in with your bag of ornaments, okay? Unless somebody else wants it. 
<coughs> hey, Soulmate, uh, is uh, you guys have a lot of uh, Orthodox people where there uh, was January 7th is uh, their, their Christmas? Well, I'm I'm happy to do it. Okay. So I'm going to put that in with her ornaments. Um. Anything else? Oh my, beer's all gone. Nobody bought your light up wreath, right? No. Okay. That's right. Cheryl Megason bought your candelabra. Yes. Uh, Joel Needle also bought a Avon bud base. Said you had two. Right. I just you, have you to. You had somebody else in here that has one also. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Well, that's about it. Well, I guess we pretty much covered it. Uh, so. Guys, uh, next time, uh, what I'll do is so. Uh, uh, Jackie and I'll switch places and uh, and uh, that way uh, I can find out how difficult it is. Wow, the job. that's a good, cool deal, Nate. Um, yeah, so remember, I'm not having a sale next Friday. Um, about the holly dish that sold. Who bought that, Ron? What's that? By Debbie. Who bought the holly dish? Uh, number 39. I heart old things. I heart old things bought it. Did anybody buy Deborah? Uh, well, obviously they did, or you wouldn't, or you would have told me. Number 44. Somebody bought this, right? Lynn Dowdy. Okay. Um, I think the guy who got the, a real good deal was uh, P. Greg when he bought the stained glass bowl. That was nice. Um, uh, Nate said that they don't have very many Orthodox there. No, we do. Uh, Nate, we have uh, we have Serbian. Joel, we will believe me. I am freaky about it. I walked out of the van one day to go into the somewhere dollar tree and i got about two footsteps away and i go oh my gosh i was like Ugh. i was freaking out so yes we will be safe we won't probably won't be seeing too many family members i don't know not sure how we're gonna go about that yet how about the white basket with the holly on it was that in the sale? Mm -mm. White basket with holly. Mm -mm. I know, but I'm trying to think even what it is. It was something you saw in my hall, right, Cheryl? White basket with holly. Huh. I, I'm glad you had fun, Lynn. I can't even think of what it was. Absolutely, Belinda. Thank you so much for your participation. So I will see you on and Cheryl and Lynn and Joel. You guys all have a wonderful Christmas. I will see you on New Year's Day. But I will be in other people's sales. So you'll you'll see me. Yeah, you'll see the, the, the both I'm not of the sure about in. the basket with the holly on it, Cheryl. I can't think what that is. Which is sad because I just did the haul. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I don't know. Well, if I ever find it, I'll uh, email you. Jen? Jen Bootsy, thank you. I love all you guys so much. And I really had a lot of fun tonight. Uh, Nate, you take care. Uh, 
Don't let the skeeters bite you. Hey, uh, Chicago ladies, stay away from the hawk. Jay and I will definitely talk to you before Christmas, honey. So anybody, I guess I've been way over my time limit here. Um, I think that uh, Jeffrey's got his cell going on. So I suppose we should uh, let leave. So in case any of you guys want to go over there. I imagine some of you, some already did, but just in case. So for all of you new people, thank you so much for coming. Um, my email address is still rolling at the bottom there. Make sure you get it and uh, send me your um, information because I had somebody not send it last time. So take care. Good night. Sleep tight. Good night, sleep tight.